Noni, karibu sana to the show. Talk to these people. They are watching you. Okay. Uh, thanks for the introduction. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh. Huh? Um, thank you. It's an amazing job what you're doing, actually. Uh, educating and creating awareness for yeah. the bikers. It's really spectacular. Okay, so... I thank God for it. And you see now it is all possible because of people like you who are inviting us and also accepting our own invitations when we invite ourselves because mm -hmm. sometimes we just hop into the shops and yeah we invite ourselves and you guys are so gracious you, you, you're just accepting us uh -huh. so now Noni yes I know so many people in this country have heard the name Noni those who are in the motorcycle world okay because of spares gears and stuff that you sell yeah but I know there are some of them who have never seen you My name is Noni, I'm the owner and owner, founder and director of the Bike Up Kenya Tools. So what we do at the Bike Up Kenya Tools, we sell sports, off-road and adventure motorcycle spares, accessories and riding gear for the private biker community. So um, we have cowhide leather gloves. Now with the cowhide leather gloves, they have to be very specific, it's cowhide, cowhide leather. Cowhide. Cowhide. No, we're gozi and ombe. Gozi and ombe. Eh? We're gozi and ombe. The aspect with uh, gloves, hmm? they are synthetic leather, mm -hmm. which actually peels off over time. But now with cowhide, it's very hard. It doesn't actually peel off. Despite the exposure to any climatic condition, whether it's extreme heat or water, then it has the, you know, the safety aspect. Yeah, 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 because of the, the sliding. Yeah, yeah. Actually, In that slider, you, this rider is very, very important. For the people who, who ride bikes, uh -huh. you see this one, eh? This one is very important. It comes to this part of your hand. Mm -hmm. Because when you're going down, mm -hmm. you will always try to stop yourself mm -hmm. the easiest way possible. Mm -hmm. How? Put your hands down and try to break the slide mm -hmm. and stop. Which part hits the ground? The hand, the palm actually. And you see, if you hit the the ground, especially tarmac, mm -hmm. with graphs that don't have the slider. Mm -hmm. What happens is you snap your hand. It will definitely snap. You break it. But with a slider, the slider helps you to slide a couple of meters until you stop. So this is a friction point, which is very, very important. Yeah. I know now uh, some people are hearing it for the first time, but this one is a must in motorcycle graphs. Yes, and also to mention, other than maybe unless for those instances where your hand doesn't break, you can actually get, you know, yeah, our roads are very... Yeah, 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 you, you, you can get, you a can lot get of your hand, you, you can just you get your You need a lot of grafting to like, uh, yeah, you can get, get it damaged. Repaired. You can get it damaged. Yeah. Yeah, and also this part, the layer part. The because sometimes you might get down and your heart decides to just hit the ground like this. So now, your knuckles are the extreme edges of of your mm -hmm. hand. So now these are the ones that are going to take the beating. Yes. But if you have this and genuine genuine material, yes. because we have other gloves that are just just crappy. Yeah. If you go down, this part just snaps off and leaves you. I leave the WhatsApp group. I'm not part of this. So leaves you and then you are exposed. You're going. So for this one, this is genuine cowhide. Yeah, genuine Gozi cowhide. Yangombe. Yes. So how much is this? That's 6,000. Six. The other aspect is, uh, mm -hmm. other than, you know, protect you, mm -hmm. you know, when you're on the bike, you're the only wind protector. Yeah. So there's a lot of penetration with a lot of wind and you can be exposed considering on what times you ride, whether it's early in the morning or very late in the evening. So it's pre really, really warm, especially if you're doing short or long distances, depending on your riding habit. Yeah, because cold is also part of the reasons why people get into accidents. Mm -hmm. I have been riding for over 10 years and I have traveled through this country a lot. Mm -hmm. I have had instances where I have to stop the bike mm -hmm. and just try to grab the engine. Yeah. I'm so cold, my fingers cannot even press the crash. Wow. I cannot even throttle the bike wow. because I'm so cold. There is one time in 2020, 
December. Mm -hmm. It was December 31st mm -hmm. of 2020, mm -hmm. crossing over to 2021. Mm -hmm. I decided to go and cross over the year in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. So I leave Nairobi around 6, hit, I, I live around Kamete prison. Mm -hmm. So the easiest route to go to Kisumu was go to Kiligiti, mm -hmm. Kiabu town, mm -hmm. Karirana, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, you know Karirana, the, the tea plantations, mm -hmm. and then get to Lemuru, Nairobi Nakuru Highway. Mm -hmm. Between Kiambu and Limuru, mm -hmm. that place is cold. Mm -hmm. Temperatures get to almost negative mm -hmm. in some seasons. Mm -hmm. I got so cold to a point I had to park the bike and try to warm my hands with the engine. Oh, wow. It was that serious because of long gloves. Mm -hmm. And remember, they were leather gloves. I had actually bought them because I wanted to cross over the year with some new set of gears, mm -hmm. but that was a wrong choice. So I understand what you're saying about cold. Yeah. Yeah, you can go down because of, because of getting cold. Mm -hmm. Your fingers get so numb, they can't even move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can even get hit by a vehicle as you wash it. But there's nothing you can do. You look like you are paralyzed. Mm -hmm. So good gloves are very, very important. Mm -hmm. Because of weather, weather, weather conditions. Not only going down, but even the weather. Mm -hmm. yeah, and again, even getting so cold, you can get sick. Yeah, yeah true, you get true, sick, true, you can get true. sick, and motorcycles are not uh, forgiving when it comes to cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not so forgiving. True. You need some quality gloves. So this is 6,000. Yes. And you have different sizes, I believe, because some of us, like myself, the hands are something else. Yes, <laughs> my, my, yeah. my hands are something else. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have a problem with gloves. Okay. My hands are so big sometimes. I don't get the, the, the good size. Oh, the right size. Yeah, yeah I don't get okay. the right size. Because I think I need some XXL. And most double people XL. Don't. Yeah, double okay. XL. And most people don't stock them. So when I see some double XL somewhere, I, I run for it because I know I might need it and I'm not <laughs> going to get it. I have very big hands. I, I know. Okay. My, my fingers are. But this one looks like, and it's also not heavy. It's not heavy. It's, it's not heavy. It's very, um, it's very light. Light, then mm. easy to manage also. Yeah. Also, easy to clean because, you know, black is a color that... Because mm -hmm. over time, it's going to have the wear and tear because it's going to have the right. shape of your hand. Of course. So they break in. And plus, you know, these bikes, they are not as clean as we want oh. them. So <laughs> it's not going to be that visible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Unless now you keep it at home and then you'll be riding once a month mm. on, uh, on the best day possible. Yeah. But for us who ride the bikes every morning, every evening, and at night, I don't think it's going to make sense. You just ride, you, you, you get it old, uh -huh. get it dirty, clean it. Kizayaka, you get another, another pair. Mm -hmm. So now that graph can be used by the sport bikes and adventure. It can be used by sports, adventure, any, any bike. It can biker. be used by adventures. Any bike. Because you see, mm -hmm. the way we ride ADVs is not the way we ride the sports. Mm -hmm. Even the way you grab the levers is not, it's not the way. Yes. So, uh, yeah. But they, I didn't see, how, how does the small finger look like? Oh, yeah. it's quite tight because of. Yes. Because most of the, the people that have actually lost yeah, their you, last finger. Small fall and yeah, and that <laughs> the happens. small finger goes. Yeah. yeah, okay. Now, the helmet. Mm -hmm. I see you have an ADV helmet. Uh, yeah. Which one is this? I have uh, this actually held. Uh, held. Held is from Germany. Mm -hmm. So it's an ECE certified helmet, double visor. The European standards. Yes. Mm -hmm. ECE is 2205 to be precise. Mm -hmm. So um, the held uh, model is more of, how do I say, intermediate. Because mm -hmm. the price range is actually 15,000. 15,000. Yeah. And. Um, it still has the same specs with other helmets, but mm -hmm. it doesn't come with the anti-fog, but it's pin lock enabled. Pin lock? Yes. Oh, so because of easily, the fog and stuff. Yes, you can oh, easily yeah, install. Yeah. Even this one has, I can see this, this guy has the pin locks. Yes, it's pin lock enabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you're holding is Scorpio. That's Scorpio. This yes, Scorpion. Yeah, 491. It's now one of our high-end helmets. This it's, is yes, for is. the bazoos. Yeah. It's People with money? Yes, Scorpion. Yeah. So Scorpion is, 20, the 491 model is 26,000. This 26,000. Yes, it comes with a pin lock. It's a double visor. Oh, we have the, ah, okay, yeah, yeah I see it. Yes. Then, I think, ah, to, perfect. Yes. Very important for sunny days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, 
That's ECE 2206, the latest yeah. ECE model, the 2206. The latest standard. I told you this standards. is 22, yeah, 2205, this is 2206. So this is uh, one classification liter after, yes. after the helm yes. now. Yes. Yeah, I see it, yeah, it has some stickers in here. Yeah. And look here. We are going to talk about this. Do you see this? If you see a helmet with these things, this Imagine is very, very premium. Yes. Very premium. Because sometimes bikers get into accidents. True. And you have your helmet in your head. Yes. Stuck there. You can't even breathe. Yeah. You need to get out of that helmet. You cannot break this thing. At all. And you cannot force it out of my head when I already got an accident because you don't even know how my spine is, yes. my neck, maybe it's broken. Yeah. This is where these things come in handy because if you snap them, yeah. they come out with the padding. The padding. The paddings get out, the helmet becomes wider. Now you can Actually get now get out of the so, helmet. So you see this one? The emergency sticker. Very, very premium helmet. Very premium, yeah. this one. Then um, also, uh, the good thing now with uh, Scorpio comes with a manual. So for those riders that are not well educated, they can actually go through and if you have time to read that is, can actually go it's through. It's a long one. Yeah, it's a very long one. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you can actually go through and see also other features that will benefit you and will also, you know, save your life when mm -hmm. the time a need comes mm -hmm. yes and it's and you said it's actually lighter it's yeah. very ventilated you know when you do long distances and you feel your helmet is very very heavy once you remove your helmet you feel like hey, you're going to get a migraine but the fact that it has extra ventilation there's a lot of air circulation mm -hmm. your so, temperatures are regulated and all that yeah i love helmets that have ventilations mm -hmm. i don't want something that is going to Shock me like I'm crossed in a fridge. Uh -huh. I, I don't want... It has to be silent. Mm -hmm. And I want to believe the scorpion is silent. The noise decibel from the outward uh, environment is minimal. You don't get it from here. Yes, because I it's have... It's very smooth. I, 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 do, I, I have an LS2, LS2 breaker. Mm -hmm. I know. When premium helmets are mentioned, I know I have one. Mm -hmm. You don't get those weird noises. Yes. And you know weird noises cause fatigue. When you're going for long distance, mm. they cause fatigue. And they also force you to go slow. Because as you get faster, the weed gets faster. Mm -hmm. So if it is inside your head now, you can't ride for long. Yeah, you it's can't it's one of the reasons why it causes fatigue. And one of the reasons why people complain about bikes. My bike is not good for long distance. I get tired. Sometimes it's not even the bike. Mm -hmm. The helmet you're wearing could be the reason why you've, you're feeling like you're getting tired. Mm -hmm. Because you have to cross it. Mm -hmm. You True. can't lie with it with the visor open. Yes. When you cross it, now the weed gets through the chin. The chin. And now you see, for this one, we have a breaker. There's a breaker. There's a breaker for dust, for weed, for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So there's a breaker. Mm -hmm. So you have to maintain this one when you buy the helmet. Ikitu mm panatoa. -hmm. It, it is very important. It breaks that weed noise and stuff. And you see the paddings are so huge, eh? but they are also soft. Yes. Because fatigue is one of the reasons why many people don't know how to ride long distances. Yeah. They think that the bike is slow, my bike is... Sometimes it's not the bike. Sometimes it could be the helmet you're wearing, the gloves, maybe they are so tight, the boots are so tight. Mm -hmm. Something is bothering you. So now as it continues to bother you, you start now to blame the bike. Yes. Yeah. But so you, now, yeah. But yes. you see, while well, you ride, the right brain is used so, so oftenly because anything could happen in the road, so you have to have your instincts. The, yeah, the your concentration is too much and something is bothering you. Yes. You can't so go for long. You have, you have to, like, always be 100% before you go yeah. to the road. So now you, I can see you have knee guards. I can see these are the bar ends. These are the, the grub. They're the grips, actually. Yeah, the grips for, grips for throttle. Yes. And yes. also the clutch. We have the throttle. Ah, yeah. There, yeah, there are the two. Clutch. We have yeah. the, 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 cr the clutch side and the throttle side. Yeah. And the bides. They look beautiful. Yeah, they look... They, they look how much is this? Uh, that's actually 1800 1800 Yes. So quite affordable. Yes. 
this are this salim for 17 inch bikes yes these are the front rims the what you're holding for bikes. yes for a double disc oh. front bike you have to be yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's it's not it, a it has single disc it, uh, actually we have the double discs here the disc the disc yes yes so this is uh mostly from 250 cc 300 uh, mostly for taro Oh, ta even, even Taro Jin 200, Chen. even to Taro 200 has double discs. Double discs, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Double disc yes. bikes, uh, front rim that is to be precise. Mm -hmm. I also have the rear rim. This is the rear one? Yeah, the rear rim that holds now the rear disc and also now the sprocket. The sprocket, yeah. The, the sprocket but it's a hub. single disc. Yeah, of, yeah, of course, yeah. the rear one has to be single and you have some tires. I see you have some tires, eh? Yeah, I have uh, rear tires. CST rubber tires size mm -hmm. 150 by 7017. That's when, a sport tire. Yeah, that's a sport mm -hmm. tire. For but now it has an off road, a bit of an off road grip. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, 15,000. Mm -hmm. Then I have now size 140 by 7017. Sports grip that is. Mm, that's now 12,500. I also have the front tires for the same mm -hmm. models that now fits into this rim because it's also 17 inches. So like the one that we have yes, here. Like this. Yeah. So that's... So this is for this guy. Yes. Yes, compatible. Mm -hmm. So that's 8,500 seal rubber. Um, other than the... Now those are the wheel parts. To be the precise, the wheel the parts. Wheel parts yeah? Then you come to the bricks and the, the sprockets. The brake parts and, uh, yes, the bricks and because, the sprockets. Cause and, and looking at this, eh? uh -huh. this is what my bike uses. Okay. Yeah, this is what my bike uses. Okay. Yeah, my Transup has this specific band okay. to the rear. Mm. So, but which bike specifically do you bring this for? Um, I have the brake parts for Benelli. Uh -huh. I have, that's for Benelli actually, Benelli 302, yes, Benelli I, 250. I see, this, this one is what I use. I have for Jin Chang, I Taro, I see you have uh, different, oh, they're different. Yes. Yeah, this is different from this, 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 I know this one because I have this in my bike. Uh -huh. This is different, looks for like... Uh, that's Benelli also. Which Benelli is this? Benelli front. The front. Oh, front one, yeah, ah, front okay, Benelli parts. front. How yeah. did I miss that one and I used to have Benelli, I don't know. And then we have this one. This um, one is one? I do, that's Zontes or this Taken, Taken uh, front. Front, front Taken? Yeah. And then this is a smaller one? This is for now Taken, Taro, Jin Cheng. Actually, wait. I think I got mixed up somewhere. And I also have for Zontes. Ah, uh, no, they're, they're, they're different. Eh? They're very different. Yes, they're they different. The CBR 250 uh -huh. this is what I have, not this one. Oh, that's this, this is what I have. The, Even very, the, the last only time singular I said, thing is yeah, yeah. the shape, yeah, but the, the shape. hooks. The hooks are different. I've, yeah, the I've seen the really CBR different. 250. Uh -huh. The last time you sold me the pads, you sent me this. Oh, okay. And this is what I'm using. So the CBR 250 also works with the Honda Transup, oh, okay. the ADVs. Okay. They work perfectly well. That, that's, that's what I have. So how much are you selling this one these days? Oh, 1,000. 1,000. A pair. A pair, 1,000. Mm -hmm. I will also have to get one of these. Because okay. my, my, my pads are not, are not looking so good right now. Uh -huh. I've been there for over one year. Mm -hmm. I think I need some replacement. So now, what are these? Uh, those are chain cleaners uh, and chain lubes, respectively. Chain, this is lube, this is cleaner. The cleaner, yes. Okay. Um, so those are botany. Both sell them at 1500 each. 1500 each. 1500 each. Uh -huh. So um, uh, for the chain, I still have now the rear sprocket. Yeah, also see. bring the front sprocket uh -huh. and also the chains. So, that's so this is the original DID. Yes, DID professional. DID professional, this is the original DID. Yes. Because I understand we have some DIDs from some place. Yes. I have found myself a victim of that one. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's not a very good chain. Actually, it can be, become very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the thing I, I want to educate people about, because there, there are two types of DIDs. Yeah. Now, there's one DID that doesn't come with O-rings. And, and then we have the yes. O-ring Now, DID. actually, let me not even say DID. Let me say chain in general. Because yeah. there's one chain that doesn't come with O-rings, and there's one that comes with O-rings. We have the O-ring and the non-O-ring. Yes. So now, this one is the O-ring. Yes. 
Now, the one with the, the non orange will not serve you for a yeah. longer period. Yes, it will meet the purpose, but it will not, not serve. Not for so long. Yes. The mileage is a little bit limited because it tends to heat up, mm -hmm. get dusty, mm -hmm. and then it is stretches. So it gets, gets longer. Loose. <laughs> gets it longer. Very loose. Yeah, it will become longer than you installed it. Mm -hmm. I know. And then that's the time now it starts snapping out. Your lighting and your chain is out. Lighting, chain is out. Yeah. Very dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Because it is becoming longer. Mm -hmm. It's becoming longer. So now, this other stuff you have. Yeah. I see you even have the foot pegs. Oh, yeah. These are sports uh, foot, foot pegs. Foot pegs, yes. Yeah, these are sports uh, sport bikes, foot peg with a brick. Yeah, with a brick lever. That big, this, this is a brick. Yeah. How much is this? And for which bike do we, do we expect to use this? Uh, so I have both the left and mm -hmm. the right hand rider footrest. And then also the stand. And also the side stand the side, that is installed on the left side yeah, for the, the sports bike. Uh, so basically, most Chinese sports bike use this from they are compatible. Taro to Jinchen to... Uh -huh. Any model, actually. A lot of them are compatible. Yes, they marry each other. And that is the beauty of uh, these small CC bikes. Mm -hmm. Some things are going to be locally available. Mm -hmm. Not in the brand name that you expect, mm -hmm. but somehow mm -hmm. you're going to find them. Yeah. We have Taro, we have Jinsheng. Definitely, there's something they share. Yeah. Maybe you don't know, but if you try to match them, you realize. Like for me, I realized Honda CBR 250 is a small CC sport bike, mm -hmm. but uses the same brake pads with my, with my giant, the, mm -hmm. the, the ADV. Mm -hmm. They're using the same things. You just have to, to be very technical before you realize where these, these things are. And I see you also have the sports side, side mirrors. Side mirrors, yes. And uh, we have two different ones here. Yeah. The bikes I have seen with this kind of uh, side mirror mm -hmm. Suzuki's. Most Suzuki's have the indicators on Okay. Yes, I mean us. So that's, that model is actually, it's not compatible with so many models, that's side mirror model. It's very specific, Honda CBR 600, Honda this is, CBR this 1000, is for CBR. also Kawasaki Ninja ZX14, ZX10. They're compatible that, with yes. this. And Suzuki, Suzuki 1000, mm. Suzuki, I think also 600. And what makes it compatible is the bolt holes. Yes, the installation. The installation, this, this, the bolt holes are the ones that are going to determine yes. where, you, where you use it. Yes. But mm. the other models, the other smaller uh, sports spec models, mm. they're not. Yeah. It's going to, actually, it's not going to fit unless you have to do a modification. You have to modify yeah, on a wish. So now, uh, in that case, now we have the normal sports spec side mirrors mm. that universally fit all sports spec models. Yes. So this one? Yes. Because... The bolt holes are somehow we are looking. They have allowance yes. to adjust. Yes. Okay. Mm. But this one doesn't have those adjustments. No, it's very specific. See now, this one is specific, but this one you yeah can, gives you more room to work. Gives with. you more room yeah. to work around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh? And uh, are they shorter than? Uh, mm, this actually bit. slightly shorter than that. But this one has some adjustment. Mm -hmm. The grass itself. Yeah. Has adjustments. Yeah. So how much is this? That's 4,500 a pair. 4, yeah. Two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. So it's not even a lot of money. <laughs> I was expecting you to quote something different. I don't mind the extra money. Yeah? <laughs> I was expecting you to quote something else. I don't mind the extra money, uh, but uh, the minimum amount I require from that is 4,500. What about this? 2,500 a pair. 2,500. A pair. So if you don't have 4,500, you... Yeah, you can still and take this. And this one has this uh, wire because mm -hmm. of... The indicators. The indicators. Mm -hmm. So they really work. They are not just here to, to show... For that. decoration. They are not decorations. They really work. Yes. And that's why we have, we have this. Actually, even before uh, purchase, we do testing mm -hmm. for our, all our clients. You test them and yeah, yeah, you yeah, confirm before, they are yeah, actually be, working. Before because dispatch. You don't want someone to go and install them and then you don't know what to tell them. Because exactly. now they are not working. You also have oils. Yeah, I do have oils. I have Oryx Axela for two Oryx Axela is the oil I've been using for a couple of years now. Okay. That's With what I use on my bike. Okay. 20W50. Mm -hmm. My bike uses 2.3. Mm. 2.3. So I tend to buy three and then I keep the half. How often do you service your bike? After 2,500 kilometers. Okay. Which comes quite fast. Okay. I ride a lot, so it comes quite fast. 
Oh. But this is the all I use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the all I use. Ah, it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. There was a time I was using the ones from petrol stations until mm -hmm. I realized I'm, I'm messing around. Yeah, I'm messing around. This is very cold. Mm -hmm. And you know the beauty about this oil? Mm -hmm. You cannot fake this one locally. True. You cannot fake this one. Because the other ones from plastics tend to have an allowance for the Kaliobangi industry. <laughs> <laughs> that name is mentioned and a lot of people are worried. Because you can get a lot of things from there. Yeah, true. Yeah, I've okay. seen a couple of photos leaked from the, the downtown industries. Ah. It's very dangerous. All the brands that you have in petrol stations put together and then someone is filling them up. It's very dangerous. Because really they, are, they are mixing motorcycle oil, diesel oil diesel from oil. vehicles, petrol oil from vehicles. They mix it in one drum. They do some filtering and then they clean it up. They put it there. So you're going to feed your motorcycle with the diesel engine. And then you just start wondering what's going on. This bike is smoking. The crash is sleeping. Doesn't have power to move. A lot of things. And then later on, you don't have crankshaft. You don't have whatever. Very dangerous. But this one, mm -hmm. I love it because of the safety. Yeah. This yeah. is very safe. Very they really, uh, I think they actually know. They, they did. They did their research prior to that. <laughs> they know. So um, this is a very good precautionary measure. Yes. To prevent counterfeits. Because this is completely sealed. Actually, this one doesn't even have something to open. Mm -hmm. You have to literally cut it. Yeah, literally. You have to cut it, and then when you cut it, you cannot use that mukebe to feed and do something else. Mm -hmm. You don't have the the plastic cup. Yeah. This is very safe. How much is this? Six hundred and fifty. 650. Yes. If someone wants to purchase this from you, yeah. you know how to get it to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most, if you're outside, let's say Nairobi, mm -hmm. we use the common uh, bus parcel companies. Oh, the parcels, yeah, so, yeah, 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 the yeah. parcels. If you come from some place that I come from, in Nyeri, uh -huh. you can send this one through parcel, or yes. delivery. Yes. Just pack a couple if of them. If, depending on what you prefer as a client, if it's, mm. let's say Nyeri, if it's 2NK, you prefer yeah, to send 2NK it 2NK. for NT, you just go there, Nakuru 2NK, yes. go to Kisumu, somewhere you Mombasa, have. Mombasa, if it's, uh, it's Mombasa, Mombasa you, we lose you bus have the buses, yeah. the bus car. So there are so many options to send the parcel, and they're very reliable. And if Never you want the, the, the other companies, the Fargo carriers and the others. Yes, yes. If someone Either, wants whatever them, you want. Whatever the client wants, yes. do it. Yes. You know, I have bought a couple of things from different towns, eh? mm -hmm. including the top box that I have on my bike. It okay. was shipped from some guy uh -huh. in uh, Coast, okay. Mobasa. And uh, it came through Wells Fargo, mm -hmm. which was very convenient, mm -hmm. very, very convenient. Mm -hmm. I uh, see if someone wants to buy something from here these mm -hmm. days, honestly, you don't have to travel and come here. Yeah. Honestly, unless you have very serious trust issues. Very, very serious trust issues. Yeah. Of which I usually say if you have some concerns with the shop you're buying from, yeah. please don't, don't buy from there. Yeah. <laughs> don't buy from there. Because there is a way things go wrong when you expect them to go wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a way things go wrong. You can buy and then it's packaged, Noni has sent it. Then somewhere in the, the, the transport chain, it gets messed up. Yeah. There is always a way things go wrong when you predict they are going to go wrong. Yes. So I usually say if you do not trust me with what I'm doing, please uh -huh. let it remain there. Because it can go wrong and you're going to blame me. Yeah, yeah I have used Cargo or Fargo and uh, G4S. I've received a couple of things. It, it works. It works. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I, I told you I'm, I'm a North. I have written books and I ship books even to outside the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. DHL, they said. They, they said. So. Mm -hmm. so I understand when uh, people buy things from Noni and they have never seen Noni. Yeah. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense because they don't even have to come and see you in the shop. Yeah, actually, I think 90, eh, 90 or 80% of my clients, I don't think we actually meet. We only speak on <laughs> you call. You only talk on phone. We only talk on call or maybe WhatsApp. Maybe even WhatsApp, you, they never even heard your voice. Yeah. But they bought from you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just need to maintain that level of integrity. Integrity, you know, yeah, consistency. Yeah, just, just maintain that one. Yes. You have? RST. Those are RST boots. These are racing boots. Yes. And I'm very glad because we have both of them here. Mm -hmm. I usually see people making mistakes. Mm -hmm. This is not an adventure boot. It, this this, is, not, this is not all. for the jungle. It's not. 
This is for the jungle. Because I've seen people riding the, the giant ADVs, the GS, mm -hmm. and someone is riding on this one, mm -hmm. and they are in the middle of Kajiando. Mm -hmm. uh, this, is, this is not what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It is not meant for this one. Mm -hmm. And you know, it is not meant for this one mm -hmm. because the safety in mm -hmm. this boot is not for the adventure, mm -hmm. for the sport, mm -hmm. for the track. Mm -hmm. This one is not for the track. Even the weight is not the same. Mm -hmm. Directly tells you yeah. this is lighter than that. what we have. Yes. Because this one is made for the jungles mm -hmm. to protect you from the accidents that happen in the jungle. Yeah. So when you're buying boots, please be very specific what you are what you're doing. Exactly. If you're riding the ADVs and touring bikes, this is your boot. That's the best. If you are doing sports, stop this using rubber idea. shoes and some sneakers, use this. Because I believe your legs are more important than yeah, than anything else. <laughs> you can break the bike, you repair it, but uh, don't break your legs. And also, you can actually look at the statistics for mm -hmm. the people suffering from uh, motorcycle accidents, like severe. Most of them get their leg broken. Yes. If not the hand, it's the leg, mm -hmm. unfortunately. And if you find out what was the main cause, they didn't have any gear. They didn't have shield, yeah. they didn't have a boot. So, yeah. Or they, had the, or they, they had the wrong boots. Because this one, is equipped with a slider in case you are the, the veterans ones that even slide mm -hmm. knee downs and you go you go so low yeah. if anything happens and then you slip and your leg touches the tarmac mm -hmm. you have this then another thing why these boots are recommended for the sports bike they're light very so very light you can imagine you're at high you, speed you, you, you need to shift very you, fast you're shifting but for and us you need and to press your brake for very us on fast. the other end of life you only need to shift two gears and you are gone. Yes. Because what we do is more of cruising. Mm -hmm. You need comfortable speed, mm -hmm. one gear, six gear, and you're gone yeah. completely. You can light a whole hour on gear six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Nairobi to Mobasa, you get somewhere around Makidu down there. You only need gear six and you rest. You get to Voy. It's over 100 <laughs> kilometers and you don't need to downshift doing what? Mm -hmm. Just Mirima number bonded. This is what you need. Mm -hmm. And again, even the, the, the position of the foot pegs, this one will not work very well with this. Yes. It is even telling you, I am so huge. See, I am so huge. I'm not meant for this. Particular bike. But if you take... This one, mm -hmm. if you take this one, this one fits completely, perfectly, perfectly. well. This fits. And it's also light on it. So and it will just give it a light press. And again, and it has this part that folds because your legs are like this mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. You need to shift down and up. This one is going to become problematic when your legs are like this. Because even the sole is so huge. Yeah. For you to bend so fast, shift gears, downshift, engine brake, you need the right pair of boots. Yeah. So for this one, goes with that helmet. Yes. Right? Yes. Go so, with that helmet. For this guy, let's go with, let's go with this. This particular helmet. Yes. And um, I forgot to add something about the off-road helmets. Hmm? Now, the off-road helmets have this extended mm -hmm. bit. Because number one, it acts like a small sun visor. Because ideally, mm. the main aim for the person that created the off-road helmets in general, they used to use them to go, just go out in the wild and all that. And there was a lot mm. of sun exposure and dust. Mm. And also, they used to like go to trees and you know get the tree branches and all that. So these are an easier way to navigate that particular mm. aspect. Now for that model. Best ideal for naked bikes, naked bikes that are closer to sports bikes mm. and sports bikes, because you need a wider view. You need a wider view. And also the wind space. You can see if the wind was actually against it, it just smooths down. Mm. So, N plus the, the aerodynamics for this one uh -huh. is for high speed. High speed. And also the sitting position, you have to lean forward. I also want to believe, eh? mm -hmm. for me on my Transalp, mm -hmm. I like the whole day like this. Okay. Someone on Jigsaw. Yes. You see? But now, 
Remember, you on your adventure bike, your sitting position is upright. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it is upright. So I'm just looking at the life ahead of me mm -hmm. straight. Yes. But this person, when I'm doing 100 kilometers an hour, mm -hmm. this one is doing 100. Mm -hmm. We are like this. Yes. This one is facing down. I'm facing up. Yeah. I need some sun visor. Uh -huh. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. He really doesn't. He doesn't at all. He really doesn't. At all, at all. At uh -huh. He really and doesn't. So these are the, the, the dynamics that we need to understand when we are getting into motorcycle safety gear. Yeah. Just buy what is right. Buy the right thing. Mm -hmm. So now, Noni, yes. as we cross this one, uh -huh. someone is out there and they are not even very sure what to do. Mm -hmm. They are working somewhere, they are feeling it is becoming toxic. Okay. And uh, they would want some motivation. Okay. Again, someone is looking at motorcycles as dangerous okay. and would wonder why would a young woman like Noni leave everything else mm -hmm. and only be doing TikToks and videos of bikes mm -hmm. while the women of her age are doing TikToks about other things. Okay. What would, that, would be your advice to someone who is confused on what to do? Is it a place they can try? Mm -hmm. Is trying a business better than remaining in a toxic kind of relationship with employment. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, I think uh, one thing people, or women in general, mm -hmm. should understand that there is more to life than what you're going through. And whatever you're going through is going to come to pass. However, you need to understand what you need to, what, what, where you want to go mm -hmm. from what you're going through at the particular moment. And Considering right now the entrepreneurship aspect, especially in Africa, it's really growing mm -hmm. and um, employment is good. It's good to get experience, it's good to get that exposure because you have to start somewhere, one, one way or another. Because if you never got employed in the first place, yeah. you could not have started this. Totally, so this was totally. born from being employed yes. and in interacting with the industry, yes. that's when you realize there's a crack. Yes. And this is a crack, a smaller one I can feel. Yes. And that is what gives birth to this. Yes. So being employed should not look like slavery. No it's, no, it's not. If you get into it, open your mind. Yes. Just be open minded. Just know what, what you're doing there. If you're going to go to work and you're employed, do your work diligently. Like, don't slack on your work. Like you're doing it for yourself. Yes, exactly. But now, also at the same time, have a vision. What open, are you going open to your do? Mind. Yeah, what are you going to do if uh, this falls down? What are you going? Where are you going to wake up from? Mm -hmm. So, but also while you're working, whether on yourself, whether you don't have a job or you, if you have a job, add skills. Look for skills that will elevate your life. Because mm. you might be employed, but you don't even have skills. You're just employed yeah, because you are employed. There. You're just there. Nothing, you just go in the morning, leave journey, there's nothing. <laughs> there's no other skill that you've elevated your life. So in life, if you're going to transition from uh, employment to any other calling that God is going to give you, you need to add a skill while mm -hmm. you're there and maximize that opportunity. Because here's one thing I think I learned from them is that I still sell to clients that I sold to bikes, till now. Because you sold bikes to them, they know you as the gear, plug, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I say so. Mm -hmm. you, you are the person we know. Mm -hmm. Whether you are here mm -hmm. or no longer here, mm -hmm. wherever you are, mm -hmm. you are the person we know. Yes. So you are integrated right from the time you are employed. Mm -hmm. Your attitude and zeal towards being successful mm -hmm. is what you brought into this mm -hmm. and it is what is bringing even the old clients back to you. Mm -hmm. That part of integrity. True. Noni sold me something three years ago. I have her number. If I need something, I know Noni exists. Mm -hmm. As long as she is alive, I know she must have an idea of where I can get it. Yeah. Yes. So now, you, your whole advice is someone should open their mind. Open your mind. Add skills. Make sure you do learn. E la learn. Continue Even learning. We have YouTube. It's free. Learn. There's so many other avenues you can learn. So many free skills. Don't waste your time. Like, you know, time, you cannot... I think this is something I learned from uh, a certain motivational speaker. The thing that puts us apart from people like Bill Gates and mm -hmm. Trump, the billionaires in this world, is that 
We all have 24 hours. They don't have 37 all hours in a day. All of us have 24 hours. All of us have 24 hours. The thing that sets us aside is what do you do with the 24 hours? Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, the resources are built to you. They, had, they have more resources availed to them. So look at yourself, which resources in my financial position are availed to me that I can maximize and elevate myself to a better position. Mm -hmm. That's when now you see people go to Shark Tank, the likes of Kevin O'Reilly are mm -hmm. calling the shots, making more money, but they didn't have the idea that this entrepreneur is coming to like pitch to these uh, guys. But this entrepreneur has a skill, but these Kevin O'Reilly has a skill that has elevated him to a position he's like, oh, okay, I would want to partner with this particular person. So elevate on any skill that you can maximize on within the 24 hours allocated to you by God every day. Perfect. And yeah. something that I must also mention is mm -hmm. uh, learn something new all the time. Yeah, true. You're not even learning because of financial gains, mm -hmm. but learn. Yeah. You know why? I might come here and only and we are having this discussion like what we are doing today. Yeah. You'll mention something, mm -hmm. it is going to fill the gap that has been in my head. Yeah. I have an idea, but there is a gap. Yeah. So I ended up abandoning the idea. Yeah. But you mentioned something that is going to fill the gap mm -hmm. and it is going to be complete. Yeah. For instance, I am not trained in media things. Okay. I am not trained in photography, videography, media stuff. I have no training, yeah. formal training. Mm -hmm. I learned it by myself. Mm -hmm. And these days I can do things. Mm -hmm. Photography, videography, I do video editing. Uh -huh. Some of these shows I'm holding and stuff, I am not trained formally. Wow. I'm a psychologist by profession. Okay. But I have taken my free time to learn things that are way outside the scope of what psychology can do. Okay. Because psychology doesn't involve videos, yeah. doesn't involve, actually it, it doesn't involve cameras. Mm -hmm. We don't use cameras when we are holding counseling sessions. Uh -huh. it's, uh, uh, it's confidential, we don't need cameras over there. Mm -hmm. But I am doing camera things on the side mm -hmm. of which I never went to campus, to college, to some school to learn. Mm -hmm. I have been learning through life. Mm -hmm. So if you get a chance to learn something, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how fast it is going to earn you money, yeah, yeah. you just learn it because someday it is going to help you. Um, let's even look at the world right now. It's, hmm? We are in a technical world and True? AI is taking up. Yeah. yeah, everything you just type it and you have the whole story. Exactly. So imagine if you have that AI skill at this time. You're good. You're good, right? So. Maximize, I believe you have to learn, but also be willing to learn something new. Be that willing works to learn. for you. Something that is not even so exciting, mm -hmm. you just learn. Yes. Have it in your head. You uh, never know. But also the interest. The interest, you have to have interest and. Yeah, you, you have to have interest, to but it doesn't have to be so exciting when you are learning it. Mm -hmm. But as long as you know what you can do with it in the long run, yes. or you have an idea what yes. it can do, mm -hmm. just learn it and keep it. Because you, ne you never know. Yeah. Like right now, I have realized we have so many colleges that are opening up courses in videography. Okay. Because TikTok is paying, there's some way TikTok is making money for some people, yeah. YouTube is making money for some people. Yeah. So young people are starting to learn the videography now. Mm -hmm. Video shooting, photography, editing, yeah. those things. Yeah. Were it not for these things that are coming up, the social media, mm -hmm. earning money stuff, mm -hmm. nobody would be considering like, videography as a course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, true, true. But they are not even true. doing it because they want to go out there and do events and mm -hmm. earn money from, from clients. Mm -hmm. They are doing it for themselves. But, they are doing it for themselves. But do you see that aspect, the fact that now you can be independent, mm -hmm. can work within your own time frames, yes. right? And still you can work remotely. You can work with remotely. With the videography, that is. Videography. Yes. So people have to learn. And also you don't have to be so rigid. Accept to be flexible. Mm -hmm. COVID came and changed a lot of things. Yeah. Some people committed suicide. You know uh, that? They yeah, committed true, suicide. True. I've lost a job. I was earning six figures. Mm -hmm. I do not know what else to do with my life. Mm -hmm. I was earning seven figures. I don't know what to do with my life. Mm -hmm. People ended up committing suicide. Mm -hmm. But now, look at yourself. 
Why should you be so rigid that you cannot change? Mm -hmm. None here decided to open a shop. You have a lot of stuff. I mm -hmm. know you have a lot of stock. Mm -hmm. This is what just a display of what you have. You have a lot of stock. Mm -hmm. But now, if you never thought about filling that gap, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be here. Maybe you, you could have eventually quit the job mm -hmm. because you did not quit because of this. Yeah, true. This was only a hook that you held on to when quitting. Yeah. You did not quit for this. Yeah. You could have eventually quit the job and become jobless. Mm -hmm. But you quit the job, became an, uh, an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, an employer. Mm -hmm. You have your own people working for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. God be with you. I pray to God that the grace is going to be sufficient for you. Noni is in uh, industrial area. Yeah, industrial. Give us the location. Give us the so details. So my shop is located in industrial area along Factory Street within Yogiko Building, first floor, the Bike Up Kenya Tools. So actually it's very visible, but I think I'm, you'll I'm actually I'm going, attach I'm going, to, I'm going to, uh, to pin the details there. Your number, yeah. right? Yeah. Your personal number is what you use. Yes, yes. It's the business number And still. also... Mm -hmm. I'm going to pin the social media mm -hmm. on the video description. Okay. If someone wants to contact you directly, mm -hmm. they'll have, and it's going to be there forever. It, okay. It's going to be there forever. I'm going to pin the social medias mm -hmm. so that if someone wants to contact Noni, mm -hmm. you, you can do that because we are here to help each other grow. Yeah, true, true, true. true. Thank you so much for actually letting me into your establishment. I don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. And I promise to be coming regularly. Mm -hmm. Because I want to see you grow. Okay. Yes. Thank you for coming. <laughs> uh, as I said at uh, the beginning of this conversation, mm -hmm. you're doing a very excellent job I about creating it, awareness. Mm -hmm. And um, this is something that, you know, considering where Kenya has been and where we are going as bikers, these, these are conversations that we ought to hear. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. We have. I, I also want to to segment my videos as I continue to grow the channel, yes. I want to segment the videos. Okay. The businesses that are dealing with bikes, mm -hmm. the gear shops, mm -hmm. uh, the schools that are doing training. Okay. I want to feature everybody yeah. who is supporting the biking uh, habit, the biking community, yeah. everybody who is contributing positively. Mm -hmm. I am not here to test top speeds on the highway. I over overtook Mercedes. I over I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Because you see, a lot of times, this is what the bikers do. Mm -hmm. You buy this helmet, you put a GoPro, Hero 12 over there, mm -hmm. it's done. Mm -hmm. That's content. Mm -hmm. It's good because you are entertaining some segment of people, mm -hmm. but there is that gap of the real thing. Yeah. Where do you buy a bike? Mm -hmm. What budget do you need? Before you buy a bike, what do you need? You need gear, you need training, you need insurance, you need the process of buying a second hard bike. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was one of the videos I did the first time when I started the channel. The mm -hmm. process of buying a second hard bike. Mm -hmm. Because people are crying out here, I bought a bike from this person two years later, they have never done transfer. They have... You see, a lot of shenanigans that don't make any sense. Mm -hmm. You need to know the process. This is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. yes, this is what I, I want to build Two Wheels Paradise as a channel mm -hmm. that is going to be all around. Mm -hmm. I want people to learn from there. Anybody coming, whether you ride a bike or you are thinking of riding bikes, mm -hmm. Whatever you have interest in motorcycles, mm -hmm. there is something you can learn. Even people who want to do business, because some people have money, they can import these things, and they are so idle, they are out there. Mm -hmm. Yes, you just want to see, get into the industry, do something constructive. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm here. I want to do something different. Okay. Because I've realized in Kenya we don't have a channel that does that. That adds that is, value. Yes, that's the gap I want to fill. Okay. You know, it is a, it's a long journey, but uh, for me, I really appreciate every inch of it. Okay. Every inch of it. Thank you so much and God be with you, Noni. I You're wish welcome. you all the best. See you around when you become rich. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen. Thank you.